Hello and welcome to the Bellhops Tabletop. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Let me put my years of game playing, event organizing, and game night hosting to use for you. I am here tonight at to welcome you to my game room. Um, we are here at uh, Casa de Bellhop with uh, myself and my wife, Deanna. We are about to play some Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion, specifically scenario number nine. So fair warning, spoilers all over the place. Uh, we will be playing a scenario that's well past the tutorial at this point. Actually, not that far past, but still past the tutorial. No longer tutorials into the full game. Some stuff just exploded and we're going to go check it out. So it you don't want this spoiled if you haven't played this scenario yourself now's the time to go play and from what i hear lose <laughs> then come back and see how we did um because i did some googling on this one ahead of time just to look up the name of the scenario because i was on my computer which is upstairs instead of down here and the book was down here and i was being lazy um and i saw an awful lot of people saying how, how to how do you now no i didn't click on any of them i don't actually know what to expect here i just uh, a lot of people talking about this being the hardest scenario in the box, so this could be interesting. So again, we are playing Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion. This is the new intro box set for Gloomhaven. Uh, there are some rule changes to this compared to the original, which I actually covered on our blog. If you go to tabletopbellhop.com, you can find an article that explains the differences between this and Gloomhaven. And a full review where I basically say, if you're going to play Gloomhaven, play this. Buy this, play this first. There's no reason not to. The price point's very approachable. It's a ton of fun. And it's a good stepping stone to the full game. Other than that, um, before we dive into scenario number nine, just a little bit of self-promotion. I already mentioned the blog, tabletopbellhop.com. I do want to uh, thank our Patreon patrons, in part, the improvements you've seen. So if you watch um, scenario one versus scenario nine, you'll see the difference. I hope. I hope. No, I <laughs> think it's pretty obvious. Um, we've added a lot more lighting. We actually have two cameras going. I do apologize for those of you here on Twitch, this laptop over here that I'm using can't handle both cameras, but we are working on that. So we are making continual improvements to our show, thanks in part to our Patreon patrons. If you'd like to be one of those, you can head to patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop. You do get some cool rewards like our um, production show notes for our podcast. You get bonus audio, usually at least an hour of bonus audio from our podcast that we record on Wednesday nights. As well as a behind-the-scenes blog post. Bonus entries and giveaways. Yeah, bonus entries and giveaways, which we don't currently have a giveaway. Patron so. polls. Yeah, polls where the patrons will help us decide which way to go. The, the kind of stuff you usually get from podcasts and content yeah. creators like us. And then finally, just a reminder to hit the subscribe, like, heart, thumbs up, all those things you can do on social media to show that you like what you're watching. We really do appreciate that. Plus, it does help more people see our content. So here we are. First, we're going to show you where we are on the map because it's pretty cool. See that big explosion? That's what we're checking out right now. And now it doesn't want to focus very well. Come on, camera. Oh, you know what? It turned off autofocus. It I actually fix that. covered over the gotta fix that. Sorry, previous quick fix. sticker, so that was kind of cool. Quick fix. I don't know if you want me to restart our timestamps. By, uh, by default, I turn off autofocus. And I'm like, oh, wait. <laughs> we need that this time. Focus, auto, apply. Okay. All right. Let's try again. So here we go. We are going to that. Giant explosion right there. Because we were over here investigating things, and while we were over here, things blew up over here. We couldn't be at two places at once. So someone else's Gloomhaven party might have been over there. They didn't seem to make it. Hmm. So we are about to do That's Scenario cool. 9. Yes, it is. Explosive Evolution. You arrive at the scene of the final tumor, but are clearly too late. Twisted metal and charred wood greet you as you descend into the rubble. You dig through the collapsed passageways until you finally find the tumor, but it has grown a hard outer shell, a chrysalis. A zealot appears behind you, laughing that Roland's plan has come to fruition, and then the chrysalis explodes as some new horror emerges. It's no longer an inanimate thing. An animate thing. I don't know what happened there. But some monstrous collection of limbs and teeth that moves with vicious efficiency. The blood horror cannot be damaged in any way until all zealots in this scenario have been killed. All. All. After a zealot has been killed, leave its stand in the hex which it died. Any hex containing a stand is considered neither empty nor occupied. When the blood horror revives a zealot, Remove the killed zealot stand from the map and spawn one living corpse of the same rank with the stand where the hex where the zealot died. Living corpse does not act in the round it spawns, so it's not a summon. 
Note all living corpses do not have to be killed to damage the blood horror. And then it has two specials. One is move X jump action, where X is the number of hexes needed for the blood horror to get adjacent to the killed zealot furthest away from it. The blood horror then revives that killed zealot. If there is no killed zealot on the map, or there are no valid hexes adjacent to any killed zealot, then X instead becomes the number of hexes needed for the blood horror to get adjacent to the enemy farthest from it, in which case it then attacks zero. Special two, the blood horror performs a normal move zero, attack zero. Then, if there are any dead zealots in the same room, it revives them. Door hexes are not in any room. Which, when I don't know, do you have a way to push him onto a door? the ones in here, in the other side of the doorway, right? Well, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. Alright, so we just have three in the first room? Looks like it. Three regulars? So it's definitely kill the zealots first. What does it have? So it has 24 health, moves 4, and attack 2. But we can't hurt it until everything in the room is dead. Alright, round 1. Go. Oh, no, what I didn't grab? They're over here. We need all of these. So we have zealots. Oh, we need um, goals too, personal goals. Oh, personal goals. It's not round one yet. That's off the map. So yeah, I'm going to try to put this here. I don't know. Maybe I'll do them on the bottom. Can't see that either. Damn it. Guess it should have been a little closer. <laughs> They're too slippery. All right. I will just have to hold up what they are so people can see it. You have his, me dropping stuff. I'm trying mm. not to make horrible noises. Yeah, we should do personal goals earlier. And here's living corpses. Here's living corpse cards. And here's boss. And boss cards. So those didn't quite make it onto the screen. Damn it, sorry. All right, I'm gonna cover these up with this. And hopefully there's room for you and I in the corners. So if you do put those underneath, you're just going to have to show them because your head's going to be covering that probably. So like there would be okay? Yeah, should be. I don't know. I'm not quite sure how long, how big are. We don't have any of those yet, so you don't have to draw one. And we haven't even planned battle goals. I don't have the monster attack that out yet either. I still wish the bad guy initiative tokens for different colors. Bad guy attack modifier deck. I'm just going to put curses and things under there. Alright. There's your two. There's my two. Do we want to quickly go through what cards we brought? Do people actually care about that? Alright, I will, I will go through mine very quickly. I have Gift of the Void, Grasp of Doom, Freeze the Soul, Lure of the Void, Resigned Frenzy, Wicked Scratch, Turn Out the Lights, Black Moon, Taunting Fate, Close to the Abyss, and Crushing Cold. I didn't worry about focus, I just kind of... So, we got Blinding Sickle, Twirling Stabs, Desert Knight, Flaming Sickle, Swift Strength, Barbaric Instincts, Warmth of the Sun, Shocking Advance, Blade Dance, and Shield of the Desert. Alright, I don't know. I've got this choice, which sounds uh, possible, but you know what? I don't know. Or this choice. I'm going to sub I'm gonna make sub one of my cards real quick. Which I think I'm going to go with that one right there. Now that I know. Because I should be able to avoid it. Now that I know. Let someone else do the finishing touch. Where is it? Where's the one I want? So both options. I don't know if I can hold those in a spot that will focus. There we go. I am going to go with that one right there. 
And let me know when you want to do yours, because if you're swapping out a card. Uh, I'd have to swap two cards. Okay, that's no <laughs> you think it'll help? It might be worth doing. All right, where do we want to be? We want to get to these zealots. We pr I probably want you next to me. Do I want to be a little further back? Do you have a preference? No, oh, but um, of these two cards here. I won't look. See. Remember, you got to hold them real close for it to this focus. This one. If you folks can read it. I think that would make Mo's life unhappy if I were to take that. So I'm not going to do that. So instead, we'll go with that. Which, based on the last couple of games, is likely to happen. There you go. So give me the one you're throwing out. Ta-da. Boom. Did you already pick one? Yep. Oh, I missed it. My was Toss your stuff back in the box. All right. What about starting positions? Are you happy with that? Can he stay a little fine. bit further back? I'm fine with that starting position. All right. You're not really back, though, because that thing behind you is a gibbering maw. Yeah. Just, just like to point that out. I'd, I'm more worried about the other guys. Um... What, how much health do the Zealots have? Seven? Yuck. More than I would like? Well, I can push one of them into a pit right away. So. I'm going to look and see if I can do two. Yes, I can actually do two. Range three. No, maybe I want to be up here. <laughs> so yes, if you want, I'll push two of those into traps. And one of them will be disarmed. And then on my bottom, I don't know, I think I want to get away from these folk. Oh, he's not paying attention. No, I'm not. Yeah, three, right, just so doors, like having, having the tiles for the doors would be nice. Just, uh... Yeah, these are small rooms. I won't... I won't mess with it and then let me die and have to redo it all the time. You're still playing with your cards? Yeah, that's what I was doing. I would have had to swap for them. It's too much. I did not change any of them. Yeah, I've got a bunch of pull and very little push. Well, I'm going to push both of them into traps. Or I can push, push one into two traps and kill them outright. Mm. Is that better? It's not terrible. I don't know which is better. When it brings back all the... Is it all of them in a room or one of them in a room? It depends what ability it does. That that second big one, was it all of them? All, yes. Oh, God. All of them. That's terrible. As living corpses. Mm -hmm. I could stun the boss, then we don't have to worry about it, but I figured right now that wasn't that big a deal. Is he immune? Oh, is he? That's a question. Oh, he me. is. Dang. That's not cool. No, thought he might be. I just can't decide what to do on my bottom here. Well, that's a door right there. Yes. I missed that. Hence, there is walls right here mm -hmm. that I also missed. So you can push him into the trap, but not past it. Correct. Never mind. I was like, you know what you should do? Push those guys right past that trap. That's yeah, I need to be within range three to push. Do you want me to kill one, or do you want me to damage both of them? Kill one. Okay, so I just have to move up a bit. What card do I want to use? So to I can't, it? I can't push anybody into anything. That sucks. So. I don't want to use up any of these. I feel slightly better now that I see this. You're not going to want to move to... Oh, well, yeah, if I can get out of here, that might not be terrible. You no, know, yeah, but... I need you to go first, though. Push that guy into two traps and open up the way. Then I go one, two, three, onto the next room. The problem is I'm slow. They're going to go before me, so... 
That's the other problem. I think kind of like running away from this guy, getting into yeah, yeah. killing well, all the guys. Well, he's just gonna back, teleport right? to us anyway. Yeah. So okay, I'll speed it up. I, this way I can kill one. Okay, I'll make sure I go quick. I'll do it this way. I'll so, have to use an item to do it. That's fine. So you're gonna move me? No. No. I okay. swapped up what I'm doing. So. Yeah, I keep thinking of grabbing the 3D scenery. Like, we used it in Gloomhaven. Like, same with the Gloomhaven helper app. The problem is I throw Gloomhaven or helper app, my video's got to be smaller. Now that we have the better light, you can see the book so much better. It seems like a shame to scrunch this down. Oh, the Gloomhaven helper app doesn't let, does let everyone see where the monsters draw and everything. So I don't know. It's 6 one We, we need feedback. Other, right? If people would rather see us have the Gloomhaven helper app show up over there on that wall... It'd mess up where Sean's going to put our heads once he crops in the extra video, though. Are you going to go fast? Yes, I said that. Probably not faster than you, depending on how quick you go, but yes, I'm going to go fast-ish. I don't know where to put the bad guy deck here. Is the bad guy attack deck the same as the player one? I don't know. I thought it was identical. There we go. I'm like, it's only half size. Why is it only 10 cards? Did we do that last time? That would have made a big difference. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, if that's the bad guy attack deck. There you go. I almost grabbed the, the curse deck for the bad guys as their deck. I'm like, that's awfully small. That would have been well, embarrassing. Well, it would have been great when you flipped it. So the I think I'm going to put those so up cursed. here. Yeah, people can see that. That works. All right, let's get this show. Yeah, I wouldn't have to show the monster cards of the initiative markers. That's cool. That's true. All right, I am going at 13. I'm going at 14. Zealots. Are going at 19. It's a good thing I'm quick. 13. Zealots 14. are pulling out the hex whip. Zealots. Which I don't know. Living like I could put it here, but I, people you. can kind of see that. And the boss. Maybe do those over there. At... The boss is going at 54. It is going to walk up and hit us with a ranged three attack, targeting both of us yeah. if we don't get out of range, which probably isn't going to happen. <sighs> I just had to do those over there. <laughs> that way. Over here? Yeah, that way I can put these so people can kind of see them. Right? Because I can go there to touch that guy. Yep. There we go, that works. And I got the monster deck up here. Okay. Is that in order? Yes. I'm actually before you? Yes, we pulled it off. All right, well, I'm going to move up two because I want to get out of range three of this guy. He's going to move though, so it doesn't matter. He's just going to walk How up and hit both does of he us. Move? Four. <laughs> oh, yeah. So do you need that spot? Like, I can just move up one. No, you're fine. I'm hoping to end my turn right there. Well, you, then you need me to get rid of that trap. Um, then I will use the Fateful Compass. Sorry, I didn't even show what I'm using. It doesn't matter because I'm using it as a move to. See, it's that thing, but I'm using it as a move to. Then I am going to use the Fateful Compass, which I think we found during the tutorials. Come on. Seriously? There we go. I make someone move too, with me controlling the action. Oh, stumble, he might fall. Boom. Oh, and into that one or this one? I was going to have him go into that one, but. Have him go into the one the I think this one in yeah. case we want to push this other guy, which yeah. is what I'm going to do. So he takes eight damage and dies. But we got to leave it standing here. And I think we still put a coin. I, I don't see any reason why we would not. Because coins. coins do not require. Because it's neither empty nor full. And then, my top is a disarm, range three, force the opponent to move one. Oh, into the other one. Boom. Four damage to number five. And I need a muddled for him. You actually need damage for this guy because he's not Disarm, a sorry, disarm. Okay, there's your four damage. I just put four damage on oh, him. Sorry. It was on the trap. Uh, yeah, that's right. And a disarm. There you go. There you go. 
So that's pretty easy for the first guys. And he's not resurrecting yet, so that's yet. worked. Okay. So, on my turn, I'm going to... Way closer. Way closer. Well, I can read it, but that's because I know it's move three. Still not close enough. Yeah, all right. I get there you it. go. There we go. I'm doing a move three. I go one, two, three, and sunshine is infused. Brightness! And then a flaming sickle goes off. It's a ranged. Why'd you move into melee with him? I guess I should have attacked first, but he was too far away. I couldn't hit him because you pushed him back, which is fine. But so, yes, he has disadvantage on me, but that's... You have disadvantage on him. Sorry, I have disadvantage on him, but I couldn't hit him from where I was because it's a rage, too. stopped here. Yes, but the point was to... All right. Yeah. It's fine. Anyway, so it's an attack three, range two. And they're both heroes, so... He does. Not so bad that I had to pull twice. Okay. You need another coin. Fire is also infused. Whoosh. I do not learn anything. Um, and that's it. Now the terrible boss is going to do terrible things. Yeah, next would be the zealots, but they're dead. And then the boss. So the boss is going to move up to four. So he's going to move so you're in range three. So one, two, three. Mm-hmm. Now you're in range three, and I'm in range three. Its move is minus one. Yeah, I couldn't get away from it. Now, the thing is, I'm the primary target. So he would actually only attack me, because if he did that, he'd have to have disadvantage against me. Hmm. So he's going to focus on me. He can only move three, so he's actually only going to go here and not hit you. Nice. I mean, I'll take it. Even though he can target two, because he'd rather, as far as I understand, he'd rather not have disadvantage against me than hit two things. And he hits at plus one, so that kind of sucks. Plus one, minus one is just two. I use my shield... And I take one. And we need to roll into the next room. Yeah. And wind does not get infused because the zealots never actually went. You have pulls, not pushes, right? That is correct. Hmm. I think I have one burn card that has a push on it, but I'm not going there. Well, I'm trying to decide. I could pick this back up. I'm going through that door. Oh, oh I was close. I was right about everything. So he didn't have to move up. He didn't have to move. Because he, he could reach there. me at three. Yeah. At first I was thinking he'd move up, but I'm like, no, because he I was thinking that he would move up to hit everyone else. Um, no, without black, I can't do it. Unless you can infuse black. Because then I can... Oh, that guy's not even going to spawn there. Nope. Never mind. I was going to walk him into a trap, but I can't. He's going to be too far away. So no point in me trying to infuse black. No. Well, yeah, actually, it would still work. I could kill him instantly if you can infuse black. Okay. But I got to go before you. So... We're going to do this? Okay. So I need to use my stamina potion to pick that up. And then I need to use that top, but I need to be able to reach this guy. So I need to move four. I have one. Well, move three? Yeah, move three. Are you, you're not going to be in the doorway, are you? I can move through the door. You're going to instantly kill him, so there's no point in attacking him? Hmm. Mm. I might as well swing on something to do. Yep, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna smack that the guy. The problem is he's gonna go before me, so put I'm on shield or something start. if you can. Uh, I don't know. Who knows? I might even kill him. 
Oh, that'd be cool too. Are you going really quick? Like I can still go relatively Quicker quick. Than you. Okay, that's what matters. All right, I am going at thirty-six. I'm going at twelve. No reshuffles. Zealots. Seven. Oh, there are none. Sorry. Nope. I'll shuffle. Sorry, I forgot there was no Big zealot. Daddy. Big baddie. Special two. He is going to resurrect both these guys. Ugh. Great. Oh no, if we go into this room. Uh-huh. No, he's before. Well, it depends the order. He's going at 14? Yes. I'm going at 12. So if you get in this room, he's going to yeah. move into this room and do nothing. That's great. That's what's going to happen because I'm running in there. No, never mind. He doesn't teleport. He's going to resurrect the guys in the room with him. That's going to suck. <sighs> That does suck. Yeah, he performs a normal move plus zero, attack plus zero. If there are any dead zealots in the same room, it revolves them. We needed it to do the top one, mm -hmm. where it teleports to us. Yes, I had no control over that. Oh, well, I'm going to ignore the zealots. Yeah, yeah. Right. And yet again, a Gloomhaven scenario where the heroes could save the day just by shutting the dang door. It's true. If, <laughs> oh, if only these if doors only you were could not shut one these way, doors. it would be so grand. Okay, so... First, I'm gonna. There you go. I'm gonna use the sunshine to move to. Bop, bop. As soon as you move on the door, a regular zealot spawns right here. And you should flip over and find out what his initiative will be. And he is going at 27 before me. Oh, he's gonna infuse black. Well, oh, he's okay. gonna heal himself. And then, uh, using that same card. I do an attack one and wound him. Do you have to attack him? Yep. Yeah. For one. And he is wounded. What number? Is that I a four? See that from here. Yep, four. And then... That's right off the camera, but... Boom. There you go. Yeah, Desert Knight. Which I will target one enemy within two hexes. That fellow there. It's it's not a um, ranged attack, so it's no disadvantage. So that's three. He's disarmed, and I infuse ice and dark. Those two. That's good. I use both ice and dark. I don't need both He's this round. That they was effective. Yeah, I do. Here, I'll use this one. Yep. I know. This is the other there. reason to use Gloomhaven. Help okay, up. so all of those things are infused. You did that. Uh, moving made me learn, learn a little bit. Maybe I am going to be surrounded by these living corpses. That's what I don't like. That's It's bad, but I can't really do anything about that. They don't act to turn their summons, so... There, There is that. And they tend to only move one or two from what I remember. Said, I think we're just going to power through here. Yep. Okay. You done? Yeah. That's it. That's all I got. Okay. What's next? The cultist. That can't be. The boss is 14. Oh, the boss is 14. How is he not on there? I screwed up and didn't put him on there. Okay. I'm there like... we go. Boss, 14. Alright, boss. Blood Horror performs a move plus zero, which is four, and attack plus zero, so he moves up. Attacks me. Jeez. For three. Let me die before we get out of the first room. Two, three. And then he resurrects these two guys. I do like that the resurrect is coming, having them not come back just as zealots. Yeah, it's neat. And they don't act the round we draw, so I don't even think we draw a card. Okay. It specifically says they do not act the round they come up. So that kind of hurts. Then we get to the Zealot. The Zealot one. Who takes one damage at the start of his turn. Then is going to move here to get away from you because it's a ranged attack. He's attacking at minus one. You're not doing anything to modify this. Nope. Before I draw. He missed. Excellent. We're going to have to shuffle that at the end of the round. He then heals himself the amount of damage that he would have took, but he didn't do any. Excellent. So that worked. That part was good. 
Um, he takes one damage at the start of the round I gave him. And you know what? Because he didn't heal, he's still wounded. Yeah. Oh, he was disarmed. He's drowned too. Okay. He can't even attack, can he? He was disarmed. Ah, we're terrible. Oh, we're terrible. Right. You were correct. He can't he's disarmed. Attack, but can't he did, attack. He did take the wound. Which he did take the him. wound. And that's it. We did that. He, which can't he, attack. He, he wouldn't have moved. Yes. If he was disarmed and couldn't attack, he wouldn't have moved to be in. You're right. All right. Yep. Okay. That's, At least we caught it. That's terrible. All right. I run between these eyes with a move three, which I'm not using the dark on there. I'm just moving three. Then we are going to disarm him. He's now disarmed again, which is why I didn't take that off. But it doesn't matter because I'm going to force the target to move one. But look, I can use back, and now I can move him three. One, two, three. Oof! Well, actually, he dies in the first one. So, yeah. Do we one. want? I, I don't one know this one. Yeah. yeah, he dies in the first one. That's fine. Then you got one there that you can still push someone into, maybe later. Maybe later when one of these guys comes back to life. No, that's not going to happen. We it need would, a coin. It would be great. And I get an XP for that one. Okay, and that's it for this round, right? Yes. All right, these have to be shuffled. Those do not. This guy's <laughs> dead. We're gonna put these down here somewhere. We're just rushing, right, through the next door? Yeah, but um, like I'm like do to do move two. Neither empty nor full. Can I go in that square? Yes. Okay. What happens if you're standing there when the guy's supposed to be resurrected? Well, you can move through them. I don't think you can stand on them. Okay, so I can't land in that square. So I'm not even sure if we should be putting coins out, to be honest, <laughs> yeah, in this I particular no scenario. That's an FAQ thing. Do you put the coins out? I am going to whack one of these guys and muddle them. I can go and land there, but I don't think it really does me anything. But they... Oh, I have no phone. Can't Google it. Yeah, okay. I'll hit both of those guys from here. How is that great? It says a, a hex containing a stand is considered neither empty nor occupied. I would assume you should be able to move through them, but you can move through them, but I would think you could move on them. So, like, one of these guys gets resurrected? It's going to be an elite. Yeah. Yes, yeah, that's brutal. Okay, so I know I'm doing that. So I'm doing that, and I'm rushing through, right? So I'm going to use my move four. If he can give me black again, I can attack something on the way. But... Oh, no, it's an attack at the end yeah. of the move. So anyways, I can go move two, and I'd land there. And I don't know if that's legit or not. But I can also just move one, I guess. I said I can't look it up, so... Yep, alright. Off we okay. go. I got you can look it up in the glossary, which you have. But I don't know if you'll find it in the glossary. Because <laughs> this is pretty unique. It's pretty, yeah, it's pretty unique. You can look up empty squares and non-empty squares. It's Schrodinger Square. It's neither empty nor right. occupied. As long as you do not open the square. See, I'm thinking they don't drop coins until you kill them to be the, the second time. Dotted element. See, I don't think empty you... hex. A hex is empty if it has no figures, blah, blah, blah. I don't Destroyed think we get coins. open doors all considered empty unless it has a figure or a trap in it. So, let's see. C is for coins? See, coins only drop in empty hexes, so I don't think the they do. C is shorthand. Nope. Any coins. I don't think they turn into coins until you they kill the living coins. corpses. No coins. I'd um, go upstairs and Google it. What else would you look under? Gold. Gold is a currency. Nope. I want to know about when it drops gold, when a guy dies. If it has to be. Yeah. 
when you kill a monster, the monster's standee is removed from the scenario and replaced by a money token. That's what it says. It says replaced. I would guess if you can't take the you money, don't take you the stand away, it. right? Exactly. Yeah. So I, that shouldn't have That's been coins out. That's for kill. But I don't think you can move over on either. Because it says there, it is not empty. It's not an empty square. You can move on. I do not think you can move on to that square. Anytime a money token is placed on the map, anytime a monster is killed in the hex in which it died. So yes, because it did die. Right. We're going to tell Sean to edit the video as I go upstairs and Google for half an hour. Like. Yeah, right? I don't know. It, I, whatever. It's not very clear, Isaac. There's no official answer and people are arguing in both cases. Well then, what are we going to have Most people with seem to say you can stand there and if it would summon one, it would summon in an adjacent spot. Hmm. We obviously lost our guy in the chair. Yeah. He was there earlier. He must have left. He was there earlier, but he's not answering. Or he doesn't know. Maybe he doesn't know. Maybe yeah, he, is, he is He is rapidly Googling There's lots, like there's multiple speak. Reddit threads. There's people arguing both sides of it. No one seems to think you don't spawn a coin. Hmm. Coins seem like everyone agreed with that. Which seems weird because we're going to get double the coins off the monsters. Right. If we kill them all, but yeah, no, I feel better now that I, I realize that supposedly, once if you dead, Google empty dead. square and occupied square, because it's it's they're not empty, they're empty and unoccupied. Okay. And if you look up unoccupied, it says a figure can end its movement in any unoccupied square. Hmm. So that should mean you can end your movement there. That was the argument someone said that yes, it's clear if you just read it literally. In these two spots. And I'm like, all right, that argument seemed better than most of the people's others, other arguments. A lot of people like right. to bring in theme when they're talking about Gloomhaven rules. They're like, we, re we think it's the ghost of the thing standing there. I'm like, no, it's a flipping no, corpse because it stands corpse. back up. It's, it's which makes ghost. me think I shouldn't be able to loot the gold because the gold the, is still on the corpse. The corpse is laying on top of it. It's well, it's still way. in it, right? Like, it's it still has way. its pouch. I'd have yes. to kill it once it's resurrected to drop gold. Like, thematically, I think the gold shouldn't be out there. Can I ask you how quick you're going to go? I don't I'm even know what I'm doing. I'm you're still going to be in that square. Oh, not really quick, but I'm... I don't know. I'm going relatively quick. Relatively quick, eh? So if I Which isn't that fast for me. You tend to be faster than me all the time, so... Oof. Or I might regret my life choices. It's probably not worth it just to do one extra damage. I'm going faster than the boss went last time. No, I'm going slower than the boss went last time. I'm going faster than the zealots went last time. Are we allowed yeah. to say that? Okay. I don't You're know. definitely allowed to say that because I don't remember it. So, so there it, you is, go. it is completely opaque to me. Alright, we'll try this. I think I had to figure out what I was doing. What am I doing? I have no idea. Oh, I'm just no speeding through. Idea. Yeah, mean, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm whacking a guy and then. To that door, well, I'm going to whack a guy before I'm I go. I'm going to bang on those little I'm not going to. I, I can actually reach the door, so. Excellent. The if thing is, I won't be able. Oh, wait. Hold on, I might switch this up. Well, you were gone, so I had time to reconsider all my life choices. I was going to so. hit one of these guys before going, or should I ignore so this and just... I wanna, one, if I, I have one, two, thing. three, four... Oh, I should get to... I was thinking I couldn't get to the door. The Where are you going to be? Are you not going to be up with me, right? No. Are you going to end in the thing? Where the uh, thing's standing? I'm actually not going to move. Oh, I thought you were going to end where the thing was standing. Or I'm going to go two and in then the, in, in there. I haven't decided. I think you're better with that, because then I can have you tack the... Elite ze Zealot. Oh, if I'm there, you can yes. let me attack that guy? Yes. Okay, just a second then. Except so then I go... I no, no, the, my, this is but on the I speedy part. I want to make sure that I go first or you go first, sir? I need to go first. You need to go first. No, you need to go first. I need to go first. You need to go I first. Can make Maybe. I could make sure that That's happens easy. and go super slow, but no, I really don't want to stand no, back no. with these guys. I can go nice and fast. I'll just swap it up. So if I'm just going to use it as a move, a standard move, it's not exciting at all action. No, no, this is, this is sweet. This the only problem is I waste the ice by okay. doing this, but I think it's well worth it. Now that I've changed my cards I think cards we have to kill the these in the million times. I'm all right, good. I'm at 26, so as long, as long as they don't go super speedy. The boss is going really slow at 73, but okay. he's going to teleport into the room with us and resurrect the stupid guy, probably. Right. <laughs> well, we'll see. Um, the zealots, we don't have. I just... Those. There are... There living are corpse. Living corpses, however. 32. Ooh. Is that the right spot for it? That'll work. Okay. 
And then living corpses are at 32, which the there bosses. are no zealots. Not right now. There's there will be. But... It's 32 before or after you. Did I get that right? I'm 26, there we so go. we're good. Okay. The living corpses are what? Oh, they're not moving. See, this is perfect. They can stay back there. Okay. Excellent. So you're first? Yes, I am first. Okay, so before I do anything else, I'm going to... Oh, uh, yeah, this will work. So... I'm going it, to hit both of them. It worked. You can see it? Yeah, camera, okay. but it worked. I'm going to hit both of the living corpses from here with a ranged attack that targets two. I will start with this fellow over here. Okay. Show so people. that's a plus zero, so I do two damage. Living corpse number, what number is he? I can't see. Number six. Number six. Yep. Takes two damage. Okay. And then on the other living corpse, a minus one. So he only takes one damage, sadly. They don't have shield or anything at this level? Uh, no. Okay, no. good. So he's it's number, number one. one. Okay. So yeah, and then it would pull them one towards me, but you're in the door, so they're yeah. not going anywhere. That's fine. That's fine. We don't really. I was trying to figure out if I wanted to pull them into me to be able to do um, hit things that are adjacent to me, and it doesn't really matter what my other card is because I'm it's just a pull one, right? Not a pull two. Because you could pull them. It is a pull one. Yeah, I was gonna say you could pull them two. I would have pulled one of them into the door if you weren't there, yeah. but that's fine. So then I move two and I end on this square. Yeah, whatever. You should stand on. We think can be done, and then at the end of my move, I collect that. Yeah, though I still don't think coin should be there in my opinion. But I don't know. That whole every time a monster dies, you spawn. All right, so we are going to start with Resigned Frenzy. Oh, sorry, sorry, there is one more thing oh, I wanted okay. to do. I just want to use my Stamina Potion to get yeah. this card back. I figured it out ahead of time. So we are using uh, Frenzy, Resigned Frenzy. I'm using it as the move four. I am not using any elements. One, two, three, four, which mm -hmm. spawns this elite zealot. And it's not the only thing. It's, oh, yeah. Yes, it is. There's another door there. There's more doors than I keep yeah. noticing. It's lovely. And then the zealot is going to go at 19, so he's going next, which that kind of sucks. Uh, but this is the interesting one. We are going to use Gift of the Void on him because he is within range 3 of me. Mm -hmm. That gives one adjacent ally an attack 3 at range 4, targeting the target that I just poisoned. But you're going to have to take 2 damage. I will but I think it's well worth it because he's an elite and Ready? we want to stay away. So first poison him. Poison on... And then infuse black. Oh, you have him. He's over there. Yeah, he's in... What number is he? One? Number one. So he's poisoned. And? You need to do ten damage. So it was three, four. Oh, I thought you said it was attack four. It was four away. Four away. Yeah, got it. Plus the... So you did five total, which is pretty good. Yeah, halfway there. Halfway. Oh, you have, you have hit point markers there. You're good. Okay. It's not quite halfway, but... Oh, I thought you said he had 10 total. No, he has 11. You yeah. had to do 10 because it was a plus one. Oh, because of the poison? Yes. Okay. Okay. So that was pretty effective, except now he's going to jump and beat the crap out of me, which is not good. So I, he's going to jump in. Whew. Don't ask me why zealots are jumping. Um, he's then going to attack me at minus one, curse me, use wind. I am going to use studded leather to give him disadvantage. Ouch. So he is doing three. I'm going to die. Two, three. <laughs> I don't usually take this much damage. Oh, minus one. The side of leather does prevent one. I am really hurt. I need to start healing. I can heal you on the next round. I don't usually come up close. And then I get cursed, which that stinks too, but not as much as the other stuff. Where's a hero curse? There's a hero That's curse. Not what I was doing, but... Mm -hmm. And he infuses wind. And that's the end of the round, or the boss still has to go? I'm about to die. Son of a pup. Alright. He performs a move X jump, where X is the number of hexes for it to get adjacent to be to the killed zealot furthest away from it. Which is next to you. Mm-hmm. If there are no valid vases, adjacent to any killed zealots, it becomes a number. So he's going to jump as close as he can. So he jumps here, mm -hmm. and then resurrects that guy. I thought he said you Oh, yeah. Come on. You're on a base. Yep. Which we're not, still not sure if that's right. Okay. And that's it. 
Because there was nothing to resurrect. Otherwise, he would have attacked us. Got it. And that's the end of the round. They're still alive. No, the living corpses haven't gone. What are they doing? You have the card. Oh, you're in a really terrible spot for that. Well, now that you're about one, to get pushed into a trap. Now that one showed up, yep. Yeah. Yep. No, you're gonna get pushed to here, which is terrible. It's a push one. Oh, it's a push one. Yeah. And it so you push getting, me into you. So no, I'm gonna go the anywhere? trap's further away. The you're getting pushed into a trap. Away, yeah. That hurts, and it's an attack plus two. Yep, attack plus two. All right, living corpse. Living corpse. Oh, it's only plus zero. Plus, it's already a three, so you take th five. Okay. So, I've used my shield. That'll bring it down to four. Shoot. You damaged me to do this attack, and I didn't actually take it. Was two. It two damage? Yes. Okay. Oh, and I'm wounded. Yeah, I'm gonna die. <laughs> so, bring it down to four. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah. It was going good. I shouldn't be in front. That's the problem. I can heal you four on my turn. Yeah, well, we have enough help? other stuff around. Well, uh, it's just instead of moving, I could heal you. It's yeah. a move action. Well, so I stand where I am and heal you, but then... We still got to finish the rest of the round here. Yeah. Well, I thought that was it. We backed up for the living corpses. The boss had Yeah, we haven't gone. finished the living corpses' action. He took the damage. Yeah. Then he get pushed. You take four oh. more. Shoot. Like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm like, no, we're not I'm sorry, done. I'm sorry. And then the other living corpses have to go. But they're not moving. Okay, I want to back that up then because I could use shield for the rest of the round and it would be on both of no. those and I take two less. No. It doesn't work on doesn't work it's, on. It's attacks, right? Unless it's a source of damage. During your turn, gain shield one for the rest of the round. Oh, I don't know. I think shield's on just. If that would save me two, it'd be worth it. I don't know. Oh, we screwed up. What did what did we do wrong? Uh, now? You did stuff in the wrong initiative again. How so? The boss went last. Yes. Then this didn't exist. Oh, you're right. But no, you're right. So take all that Only back. Only from an attack. Shield doesn't work. Take all that back. Attack. This goes back. I guess I'll reshuffle. All right, all right, all right. Terrible. Take all that back. I like that answer. Thanks, Tech. Yeah. You're He's right. terrible at initiative. Today. Okay, so we had forgotten for the living corpses to go. No, they don't go because there's so nothing there. So they don't go because they're not moving. Yes. Then the boss goes and summons. You're the one that, that said the living which, corpses have to go, and I'm like, right. all right. Well, because we had skipped them, and also he wouldn't go because he was just yes, summoned this round. They don't go the round they're summoned too. So double, double whammy. Do you, uh, you still might want to be healed though? Do you? Well, yeah, I'm hurt. Yeah. I just I I can heal myself, but I don't <sighs> know if I'll go quick enough. I don't know. That's what I'm worried about. I can heal you, but I give up moving. Moving is nice. Oh, I didn't actually tap these. There we go. Um, goodness. They can, I, I don't think you can soak all the damage. We're kind of surrounded here, which sucks. No, I know. I agree. It's not great. And that's not great. Hmm. Uh, the, not close enough to the. This guy's got 11 hit points? Yes. You would have to do five to him. I can hit him from where I am. Oh, there it is. I'm like, I have another heal. It's in my dang discards. Well, I can heal you, and I can attack this guy. I'm going to get banged on by the other stuff. Put your shield up. Nope. Nope. Because I don't have that card right now. Alright. Hopefully I live. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I'm not going super fast either. Well, we'll see. Alright, 23. I went super early. I went at 26. Not this time. 43. 
Okay, 43 there. Oh, great. Okay. That's actually it's not bad. There's no... He's going to hit you. That's yeah, the he's going to whack you. Okay. Zealots? None? No, we do have one. Oh, great. Okay, Burst attack. 77. And living corpse, we get... 47, which is after you, is that correct? I'm 43. Right. Okay, I believe I have the in the right order. So we start off with the terrible boss. Alright, so the boss performs a move 2 plus attack plus 0. Or he's going to focus on you, he's mm -hmm. going to attack at plus 0. So you hit 2 for 1. Oh, he's not sure. And then resurrects anything in the room. Nothing's dead. I got hit for 0. That wasn't terrible. No. Okay. Then next, you. Next up is me. Run! Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. It's um, kind of hard to do. Yeah, there's not much running right now. I will heal four, range one. Thank you. With the warmth of the sun. I needed that. Sun is infused. Oh, I should have not used heal on myself then. I said I was going to heal you. I know, but I was worried about timing. Okay. Uh, and then... A blinding sickle. Sun is double infused. I do attack three, range two on this fella. Okay. Is that the best answer? I, can I think so. We don't care instead. about those. We don't care about those. We okay. need to kill all the zealots and then we need to kill the blood horror. Oh. I'm thinking the living corpses. So once they're. We right. don't have to kill the living corpses. We don't corpses. have to kill the living corpses. That's why I say get away from them. They move super slow. They move super slow. No, no. It's good. Okay. Of course, they're Anyways, moving flipping to So this that's a four on him. Four total? Yeah, four Does total. Does that count the poison? No, with the poison, it would be five. Is that enough to kill him? No, no he'd be one away. Yeah. God damn it. That sucker. You got enough over no. here? I'll give you a ten. Just because it's shiny. Okay. Well, he's at ten, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So close. It is. Uh, he's immobilized. Not that I think that matters one way or the other. Okay, that's an immobilize. Yes, it does, because they're attacking a melee. Well, he's right next to you. Yeah, I plan on moving away from him. Okay. Um, mm, mm, that's it. I can't you get away from him. the sunshine, and yeah, so I didn't think you really had anywhere to go. Yes, sure. I do, because I moved three. One, two, three. Excellent. So I moved three. I could muddle him. Is there a reason for me to muddle him? I don't think there is. He's almost dead. Muddle range three, but he's not going to attack anyone this round. No. Oh, no, he can hit you from where you're at. Really? Look, it's a burst. I see that now. So, yeah, I'll muddle him. There's no reason not to. So, I need a muddle. Bewildered. Um, and that infuses ice. Not that it matters. Um, then I'm debating healing myself. You know what? Instead, I'm, I'm going to back this up. This isn't... The muddle's going to happen. I am going to use this, but instead of actually healing myself five and poisoning myself... I am going to just use it as an attack, too, and see if we can kill this guy. Boom! He's dead. Hmm. I like that. Excellent. Except what now there's it? an elite corpse. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. no, not yet. Not until he summons. Yeah. Money. And I'm still going to move three. I'm hoping you can get over there. Yeah. Well, let's All right. See. Next. Living corpses. Yep. Wow, and you're right next to all of them. Move plus one. So what's their move? Two? Three? Four? Really? Three when they're not elite. Wow. No, no, no. Movement is one. It's yeah, that's what I thought. So two. Thank you. Number one moves two. Number two is already in range. Attacks you at minus one. Still at minus one. So two. I think I'm going to use my... And then this one moves one into well. the door. Oh, just the ones hitting me? Well, the boss has to do... No, the boss already went, so yes. Oh, already went. Yeah, no. Okay, I'll take it. How much was it? I don't know. You're supposed to keep track of this stuff. I believe you said two. I drew a plus zero, so it's one. One. Okay. No, three. His attack? It's three, so no, it is two. Three. It's attack minus one, so it would be a two. Yes. yes. Okay. That's the end of the round? Because I killed the seller. That is indeed the okay. end of the round. That's got a shuffle. These go away. Oh no, black's infused. I infused black on the I should run out of that room. Yeah, you need to get out of here. 
Um, I don't think we're taking many long ones. I don't know. I think we want to, right? Yeah. Spawn the last two guys. Oh, there's a treasure chest too. I missed that. There is, yeah. And I'm, and we gotta open it. This guy's dead. I mean, the most I could go is four, but I'd have to burn a card. I'm not sure it's worth it. I can move two. I don't have my card to let this you move room. two. I could. You want to get away from those guys yeah. as quick as so possible. Yeah. So I can go four, and I have to burn a card to do it. And then I'm not doing anything unless Should I open, open this door. next door? If you open the door and I was right here, that would still be one, two, three, four. Yeah, cat doesn't, doesn't spawn. exist. All the way back here. Still five away. I'm not attacking anything from there. And there's debris in the way. So maybe I should long rest. Yeah, this might be the time. For me. I have cards, but I get my shield back, I get mm -hmm. my armor back. Now is the time. Well, the other thing I was thinking of doing is healing, too, because I could use it, and I know you could use it. See, if you get in the room with me, I can heal you, too. Okay. But I'm going to burn a card to run in there, or I'm just going to go one, two. Well, I could still heal you from I mean, there. if I go one, two, and The I'm problem right is they're just going to follow you. That's all. Yeah, I know. And if they only move one, you're, you're golden. They move one. Well, it depends what they draw. Where are they? Well, that they had, like, a plus one. It's on your... Yeah, no, like this last time they had a plus one, so they would go all of two. Like the ones that are way back there are going to shamble after me too quick. I don't know. I'm, I'm loath to burn a card. I think I'll just move two. Okay, so I'll heal you. Well, I don't know. Or do I long rest? What do you think I should do? I'm thinking not open the door. I think you should long rest. Yeah, okay. Though healing you too and me too would have been nice. Because I'm still hurt, but I'm not super hurt. I'm going to do but that. But I'll get my both my armor back. And, and this. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. And Set. Twenty nine. Boss. No. It's fifty four. Well, you're way down here at really slow because you're long resting. There's no zealots, so you just gotta I'm flip yours. Twenty nine. The living corpses as at twenty one, so they're gonna go. Of course, me. they're rushing. They're moving special. Okay. And they're gonna mobilize and do stuff. Excellent. So they get to go first. So, oh, you're getting immobilized. Great. That's horrible. It is, yeah. You didn't plan that very well. Uh, how did I know they were going to go before me and immobilize me? I don't know. So I can't heal you. Uh, I don't know. All right, so living corpse number one moves mm -hmm. two, then immobilizes and muddles you. Excellent. And I'm then living corpse number two immobilizes and muddles you. I'm muddled. But they don't hit me. They just no. mobilize and muddle me. That's then this one moves super up. Super terrible. Okay, that's it for them. Now it's you. Well, I would be moving. I'm not. We might as well hit one of these. Yeah, I know. Take so, out the one that's got the most damage uh, on gonna it. I'm going to do the twirly stabs, which will attack all the adjacent ones. You can't read wow, it. Wow, you're terrible at that. Okay. There you go. Oh, you got it? Yeah, see, and sunshine's infused, yep. so we'll use the sunshine. So it's going to be an attack three targeting all adjacent enemies. All so, adjacent, nice. Yeah, and since they scooted up, I can pick more of them. But I'm muddled, so. You know. So on number two. Oh, times two. So three. So I'm doing three times two would be six. No, you're muddled. What? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, never mind, yes, you're right. I am muddled. I flipped two cards, I just wanted the better result. Number two. Okay, why is it only a two, though? Because I was doing three damage. I just handed oh, you yeah, a three. three. We're good. Wow. Okay. And on the other fella, again, muddled. So it'll just be three. What I don't know is if you have to draw for the boss. Because you are attacking him. Like, even to though get you, cards out, you can't, you can't hurt him. Hurt him. doesn't say you can't be attacked. If it it says... kind of doesn't matter one way or the other, because I already have to reshuffle because I drew my... Yeah. Uh, which no, number? but like I have cards that let you heal and stuff. Yeah, it can be attacked. It just like, can't be damaged. So yes, okay. you have to draw. That's fine. But see, I for need me, to I have status effects. What number is one. the one I hit? Thank you. So it's a mess. I'm definitely shuffling. So you don't have any status effect causing. Uh, I, see, think I, have, I have some that infuse. Right, like all that mattered. Yeah. Right, you might have so infused stuff. So it could have or... happened, but I'm definitely shuffling. 
And I don't shuffle yet because I might make you cry or something. And so I get XP, and I'm not moving anywhere. So XP happens. And at the end of my turn, I'm no longer immobilized or modeled. So that's good. Yep. Okay, and don't shuffle that yet. Okay. This packs up one. You're not. You're having a long rest. You're not doing anything. I know. Turn, I can shuffle. But like, he can't move through you. Mm -hmm. So he can't move. The only way he can move to hit me too would be to move through a trap, which he won't do. Okay. So he's gonna back up so he doesn't have disadvantage. Okay. Oof. So it is one times two is two. Two. Hey, of all times Ooh. to draw that. Okay. And he's the last thing to go. Yes. I take the two damage. Okay. So far. He's the last one to go. So I far, have to this and totally terrible. I think I need to take a short rest. Okay, I get all my armor I back. I have no cards. I f get the two health back. I could take a long rest, but I don't think it's worth No, it. not while you're rest. surrounded. Exactly, so I'm going to take a short rest. Oh, what do I have to get rid of, though? <sighs> I move four, because... I don't know. Oh, this one, the one that forces enemies to move. Because there's no traps there's, left except well, there's one, but it's it was. Yes. yeah. I, I used that really well earlier. I you think. did. All right, beautiful. what are you doing now? Um, are you coming in? Or are you? I think I should rest and get rid of one of these cards. Like, do I go open the last door? I'm draw one for me. No. Bring the misery. That. That one. I don't know what it is. It's a burst thing. <laughs> Shield of the desert. It's, I'm not willing to spend health to keep it. That's what that is. If I was close enough, I'd use this. It's a burn. Now what am I doing? Dark um, is infused, so I could move three and attack see, two. How many hit points is no, none of those are going to be seven. there yet. Oh, I could move five, so I could one, two, four, five. No. I need you to get in here. That's what I need. I don't know what I should do here. I don't think I'm going to open the door yet. What do you mm -hmm. think? I'm not sure. Give me a second. I'm thinking if I were to move here, I could pull this guy into there. He's number one. Standing there, and he's looking and do some damage, he'd be dead. So I could kill him, and. Like, I, I can give you an attack on. five then, if you're within range two, but there have to be bad guys around. For the bottom part, I need. It's number two. Nope. There's no okay. shuffle in here. This one. No. Uh, this one. Okay, so I am going to end up shielding myself, yanking a guy into this. You had to move first to do and that. Get it. Yes, I'm going to move. And I will end here. Is that close enough for you, or do, should I be in this room? Oh. In the room is better. In the room is better. But... Well, if I stay here, this guy will die. If I move here, he'll have one hit point left. Why? Because I'm going to end with something where all oh. adjacent enemies suffer one damage. I'm going to pull him into the trap, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he'd be at one hit point, and I can sure. finish him. Well, let me think. I won't be able to reach anyone. That won't be able to reach. I'm I don't going know. Pretty quick. It's unlikely. I could he'll come go back towards me. you. I could just do this. <sighs> How hurt are you? Uh, uh. 
be taking six? Yeah, exactly. Alright, we can do that then. It's gonna put a bless in the enemy decks, but I think it's worth it. I'm gonna double shield myself this round, so I'll be all shield too, so that'll be good if they're gonna bang on me. How quick are you going? Uh, pretty fast. A little, little tiny bit faster than your fastest fast. Faster than my fastest? A little bit faster than your fastest fast. Oh, I just don't know what I should I do. I could go a little bit slower than that if you like. No, I just don't know what I should do here. I feel like I'm wasting. I, figured, I wonder if I should move back towards you. I can take out you. one living corpse. And move back. Shield myself. Eh, I don't know. It's what I came up with. Alright, you know what? I might burn this card. And I'm going to go slow. Just to... Because that's number one. He's at four. Uh, no, because then I can't no, heal you. Right. I don't feel heal you if I do that. <laughs> Maybe don't worry about healing me this round. Yeah, I know. I have all my cards. I could throw one away if I have to. I'm um, going to be shield two. All right. I mean, I'll probably be fine. All right, we're going to do this. I might burn a card. We'll see. I'm going on slow. 68. Okay, I'm going at 12. Nothing needs to be shuffled or anything? We no. Got, we're good on that? The boss is going super quick at 11. Oh, that's awesome. I'm at 12. Because there's nothing for him to resurrect in here the again. The boss is at 11. No zealots. You are 60-something. Like 60 68. And the living corpse is after you. Oof. Okay, that didn't help. That didn't work. I should have went flipping slower. Damn it. I should have went 86. I screwed it up. Ah. Oh, well. Okay. Dumb. So, dumb, dumb, the first dumb. thing I'm going to do is switch It's not turn. you, it's the boss. It's the boss. Never mind. Watch the initiative. Yep. So it's going to move up and attack you mm -hmm. at minus two and do nothing. Excellent. Woohoo. I like that. Then he resurrects all the dead zealots in the room. And I can deal with this. This is yeah. good. Okay. Now, I run, run away. Move to jump. Yeah, it really doesn't matter that it's a jump, but it gives me shield till the end of the turn. And then, I'm going to use my barbaric run, run, instincts run, 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 run away. Uh, I, I had great big C in my head. But, anyways, um, so, I pull this fellow, range two, I pull him one into here. And then you have them on your side, so. all adjacent enemies will suffer one damage, which will be enough to destroy Oh, jeez. Yeah, all my cards are wasted. This I time. said I was going to kill him. I yeah, was just very, the fact no enemies exact. are adjacent to you. I was going to give you attack all adjacent enemies and nothing. I gotcha. It's a coin. Fire is infused. Coin. I got it. Just give me a sec. It's black. Fire is infused. What a waste. And I have shield two to the end of the I literally, I neither of these cards do it. anything. Hmm. I didn't learn anything. You infused the stuffs. No, I'm I done. can't do anything. Yuck. Alright, I just use up two cards. Yeah, that's Unless you want me to open the door, but then the zealots will go. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know, maybe they'll start moving towards us. That might not be. But they're gonna well. go. That's yeah. The problem. Like, I was going to give you an attack four, but there's nothing to... There's nothing to attack. There's nothing for you to attack, because, well, things are going in the wrong order. I should have went slower. If I'd just gone at 86, these would have moved into a hand-to-hand -hand with you, and it'd be perfect. You get an attack six on each of them. So, like, I did it right, but I just... I'm dumb. Yeah. It was a stupid move. It's a really dumb move. All right. So, so number two go. comes in and smashes you for a ton, five. All right, well... And poisons you. And poisons me. Okay, well, I have shield two, and I'll use my chain armor, so I have shield three, so I'm going to take two, and I'm poisoned. And then this one was up. Like I said, it's just, that was silly. That was the worst play I think I've ever done in Gloomhaven. Really silly. So now I could just run away. I could go one, two, three, four, five. I've got to move six. Yeah, if you want. Get I can heal you, there. but I think I want to follow you into that room. 
I would I would like some healing at this point. But yeah, if sure. we go one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way up to there. How fast then, are you going? Uh, that card's really slow, so what am I pairing it with? Let's see. I could get he doesn't exist. This guy's the closest. But he would still be too away. I need a ranged attack. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not that one. Got fire infused. You didn't leave the stuff stuff. Thank you. Are you going all that way? Yeah, I am. I'm going all that way. I'm going one, Some two, three, four, 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 six, probably right there. Hmm. I'm just not sure what I'm doing after that point. Oh shit. When I heal you, your poison's just gonna go away. Oops. I'm not using up a heal six, I'm gonna get <gasps> a poison. Oh god, no. I'm glad you caught that. That would have been terrible. Find my arrow. Did you take poison damage point. from all those attacks? That we just did? He no. poisoned me and hit me all in the same go. How? Only the one fellow hit me, and the other fellow came, just moved okay, up. just at the end of the round? Right. Okay. And it was at the end. So, yes. The one that poisoned me hit me. So, I don't know. You might want to stay within range, too, or I don't know. Are you going to want to move into melee with them? I want to be... Uh, I'm going to be in ranged attack for him. Three away, right there. I think I have a range to that. Check. Well, if you just stop right there, it's not going to happen to the end of the round, but I can heal you twice. That way I get rid of the... Yeah. I get rid of the okay. poison and then... Unless you can go super quick. Unless faster than my fastest. Quick. Otherwise it's going to be at the very end of the round. I... Yeah, I will run up there. I will not go the full distance, I guess. And... Yeah, then I'll have to do this one because it's the range 3 one. Everything else is only range 2. That's it! Okay! So again, are you going quick or am I going real slow? I'm going relatively slow. Twice right, as so slow I'll go really as slow. you being fast. Alright, I'll go real slow. 89. 29. Like it's that or 13, so. Mm -hmm. The uh, boss is going quicker than me. 29. He's going to resurrect boss. that guy. Boom. Okay. And then living corpses are at 91. Wow. So that's right. They're actually before me. After me. me. Plus two. And if then they damage themselves when they move. Good. I like that part. That part's good. Hey. Okay. So, even at 29, oh, oh. even Sorry. at 29, I get to go first, yay. So, we'll move with the Desert Knight, which is a move six. One, two, three, four, door opens, and I'll go there. Um, I'm going to move to five, it will be burned, and it was a learning experience, zooming across a battlefield like that. Zealots are going at 35. We need to work them in right now. Well, wouldn't I finish my turn? No. But yes, but we still need to figure out where they're going. Correct? Mm-hmm. They're doing melee. Huh. You're going to get surrounded. Oh, well. It is what it is. Well, it's um, a good thing I'm healing you, I yeah, guess. It is, it is. Uh, so, yeah. Is that it? No. Oh, I'm like, what are you doing now? I'm doing this because it's a range 3 attack. And so I will use the fire to make it an attack 2. Show people. So I hit him for three. I hit the 
elite for three. What number is it? Number six. And then, I know we talked about this before, but I don't remember. Is it optional to pull him? Yeah, but why wouldn't you? He's going to move up and hit you anyway. He's going to move up and hit me anyways? Well, what's the difference? I don't know. Pull him or don't pull him. Whatever. Was he going to move that far? Yes. Okay. Um, and then... Oh, no, no. Wait, don't pull him. Then I have a move, too. That's the next part okay. of this. So you could back out of the room, and they won't be able to reach you. I could back out of the room. Because they're only going to move forward. Because it's attack, move, and attack. And, the, and then I have another attack three, so I could hit this guy. That's, right? Well, that's up to you. Yeah. I don't know. Getting out of the room may or may not be a good thing. Uh, what exactly are they doing? Move and attack. They're moving minus four one. and attacking at two. Right, okay. Which you're going to get hit by both. If you run out of the room, you don't get hit by one, any. One, two, three, four... If I move one, two, they can still hit me, and then they'll go after you yeah, as well, so okay. that's no good. You want me to stay there and soak it. All right. I assume you'd like me to soak it, so... I don't know. If I run off that way, they'll at least go after me and leave you be. They're going after you anyway. Right. You're closer. I can just not move at all, and then I can just bang on this guy, I guess. It's up to you if you want to move. If you want to get closer to the chest or whatever. Yeah. We kind of want to lure him out of this room in case he... Oh, no, because then if they're all in this room, and he's something... Resurrects everything again. It's gonna be ugly. Yeah. All right. So that's a two damage. To the other number. To number two. Okay. Sunshine's not infused, so I can't soup that up. You use the fire though. I did use the fire. Yeah. Yeah, okay. but it's a two part thing. I don't know how to say it. Part I burned, but burned with a bit of there. I burned. I burned. I have definitely no fire. XP this game. I yeah. think. I've actually too gotten tactical. Four. <laughs> it's more than I usually get. Okay, what's next? Next up. Those zealots. They get to go. So he moves in. The elite, the elite first. goes first. Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> so what's four. he doing? At least the other one can't also. Hmm. I decide if I want to throw a card away for that, or if I want to throw a card away when the other guy hits me for two. Yeah. Because well. I'm almost dead. Uh, uh, uh. So you should have ran away. But I didn't. Should have run away. We bored everyone. I'll take the four. Alright, then the other one runs up and misses. Yes, excellent. I have two hit points left. It's not good. Because next the boss is going to go. <sighs> uh huh. What's he doing? He's going to resurrect this thing. I don't know. You go here? Will he go in a door? Yeah. I thought you said something about doors not counting as being. Well, the nice part is if he does special two, he's not actually in a room. Oh. But special one is adjacent. So. I gotcha. Okay. Yeah. That was a pretty good So, yeah, he resurrects it, and unfortunately, that's a elite now. Yeah. The elite thing that won't go this round, at least. No. So there and is what's that. nice is he's also blocking the door, so the other ones aren't going to get through. Yeah, that's good. Too. Oh, no, they are, because they're moved plus two. Like, he might actually, he's actually going to reach me. That's not good. I didn't notice that. Wow, I should have been paying more attention. But they're not going to attack the Yeah, I know, but he's going to be in there. And... Yeah, no, it's not great. All right. Okay, that so... That was the boss. That was the boss. Now it's you. Now it's me. I heal you too at range three, which doesn't heal you. It takes the poison off. Yes, and then I heal you six at range two. And I learned something from that, but I have to put a bless in the which enemy Which means... Deck. I forgot that it was poison. I actually only have one hit point left. I corrected it. Not gonna matter because the end of the round's gonna get shuffled. I'm the last thing to go. No. No. So of this gets shuffled in. Me. Oh, this is terrible. Because these aren't even actually in well, here. Well, this guy's not gonna go. So yes, he is. Oh, yeah. He was just summoned. The other ones are gonna walk up. They're not gonna attack. I so didn't show attack, people what I was doing. Sorry. So we started off with Gift of the Void, which is a heal two, and then we finished off with Taunting Fate. Which is a heal three at range two and bless the enemies. 
taunting oh, fate. Uh -oh. All I right. wish. So the elite doesn't go. Number two is going to go one, two, three, and take a damage. No. no Shit. It's not the zealots, it's the living corpses. So number two takes a damage. And number six takes and a damage. Six takes a damage. Okay. I'm gonna that that heal that's range one, I can use that on me, right? Yes. I think that sounds good. Oh, it's surrounded here. Hmm. But that'll mean I won't be moving. Uh let's see. And then I can do that. Which is not terrible. Oops. These guys have seven hit points. The elite has eleven. Yeah. So that's not really enough. Hmm. Yeah, because that's closest. Alright. This will be a fun round. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, yeah, I hope I go before all the bad guys. Yeah, I'm just thinking. I have, I have like the best thing ever before here. Before the zealots, I could be really bad. I have the awesome, the best thing I think I'd ever done. It's going to make up for that move earlier. Oh, shoot. What am I supposed so... to do here? Where was this elite? Who killed this elite? Mm, that might have been me. Was it you? I'm not it matters. Sure. Not sure. Damn it. I don't remember now, and that's not good. I think it might have been me. I don't know if I earned a perk or not. Well, you have this video attention. you yeah, can go no, back and watch. I can't watch, watch it but... now. That's the problem. Goodness. I can't rewind it. Like, I don't know if I earned a perk or not. I know. That's Does anyone pay attention to who killed this zealot before he turned into a corpse? Your camera is just okay. not picking those guys up. Here. Oh, in the eyes. That, yeah. that does look better, at least to my naked eye from here. Okay, I'm good. I'm at 23. Alright, let's just hope they don't go before me. I'm at 26. Everyone stay where they are. 85. Six. Boss of 85. It's 65. Perfect. Zealots are at 65. Shandon things are usually slow. They're at 81. They go just before the boss, after the zealots. Good, 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 good. Okay, so first, I will. I'm going to use a mana potion. To oh, you can't you can't use a mana potion mm. and then use it the same yes, turn. You can. you can. Okay, so I'm going to infuse sunshine. Then I'm going to look at the big flashy light. You guys see that? So it's an attack two targeting all adjacent enemies, and I will use the sunshine to make it an attack three. So on number two, for plus two. So that's a five. Three, five, six, seven. He's dead. Oh, excellent. That or terrible, as the case Kind of ruins part of what I was trying to do, but that's fine. Damn it. Yeah, that completely ruined it. Ah. And then, on the way. elite, plus one. Just how much? Uh, I set my card down, I don't remember. Three, four. I'll do four. Four total? Yes. I learned from that. It's very educational, twirly, stabby bits. And then... You should have been wounded. I should have been wounded? Yes. So you're going to take a damage. Well, I would have had to retcon something because if I take one more damage, I'd be dead. So I would have had to throw away something before. Well, that's... You can't throw away something before your turn. No, I mean... 
like I would have had to have done the last well, turn we'll different. Well, need to because you didn't <sighs> I wound didn't yourself. realize that the elite's that always elite's wound. wound. Okay. So throw away a card. Yeah. He did four, didn't he? He did four and the other guy missed? I don't know. I don't remember, unfortunately. But so we'll just stop the video, go upstairs. If I throw it away, then I know I'm not wounded and that part at least is okay. And for the second no, part, I was still about wounded. to heal myself. You and are then when wounded. I heal myself, all I'm going to do is get the wound off. No, oh, that's okay. not what wounds work. Well, anyways, for the other part, I'm about to heal myself. Well, I'll then heal yourself. When you heal yourself, the wound goes away. It's yes. not like poison, you also yes. heal. Okay. Well, anyways, I'm doing that. I'm healing four on myself. And then I don't, I honestly don't know what my hit points should be at, so we'll have to stay there at five. Your wound goes away. My wound goes away, and the sunlight is infused, which you already caught. And. Yeah, it was four damage, and I yeah, can tell you four. later why I know exactly what that number was. So you should get three more back, because you would have taken one from the wound that started the turn. Okay. All right. So this would have been much cooler if that guy was still alive. So resign frenzy. We're going to use for the cool part of it this time, which is force all enemies within range three to perform an attack two targeting the enemy of my choice adjacent to them. <laughs> so I was going to have everyone attack everyone, because I'm in range 3 of every monster on the board. Damn. Except he killed him, so I can't have him attack him and yeah. him attack him. I'm burning that card to do that, cause, but that's just that's awesome. That's pretty neat. That's a pretty huge card. So I think we're going to start with this elite to try to hit him. Okay. Because I think that's the most likely, because I can't hurt him. Two. So four on two. Okay. Four attacks two and misses. And then we'll have two attack four. Come on. Like, seriously. <sighs> Ridiculous. Alright, so far it's been useless. And we'll have six attack four. There we go. For four. So four takes four is the end result nope. of that so far. No, not done yet. Four takes four. He hasn't even hit the elite one? I guess not. And then we'll have the boss attack four. Okay. For four. That could have been so much better. So much better. It's oh, a... and Elite Living Corpses at 14. Yeah. It... That's terrible. And then I move three. I don't run away. This way? One, two. Yeah, I don't know. Three. Sure. Far away. Well, that could have been cooler. Or you Next. Could be here. I just assumed you'd want to be further away. Next is a Zealot. <sighs> The zealot's just going to hit you and mm -hmm. wound you again. For three. Okay. And you're wounded. Choice. Don't forget wounding. Okay. But he's just wounding me right now, yes. so I don't... Okay. Who's next? Jeez. Shambling corpses? Yep. They don't move, right? They're doing a move minus one, which would be zero. Yeah, so they don't move. Yeah. Which is perfect. Then the boss. What's he doing? <sighs> Bamf. Oh. Don't care for that one at all. Well, if we kill the zealot, we can start pounding on him. It's true. It's true, and he's right next to us. Maybe that's not so good. I didn't really want him next to me, but... Hmm. And that, that fella is at... Seven out of eleven? This guy here? Yes. Okay. Which I can attack him from here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I kind of don't want to be next to this guy. You can't stun the boss, right? Nope. I could stun and the, the living corpse. The boss has a ridiculous amount of hit points. Oh, yeah. I could yeah. stun the living corpse. I could heal us. 
What's your favorite move? Poison? No. I do not have an allergic smell, and I am allergic. Okay. I don't know. I don't think attacking a bad guy. Well, I mean, I could attack this guy. Yeah, I'm trying to decide if right now I need to take a short rest because these are my last two cards, and I would never need to throw away. So. It might be a good idea. I'm gonna give us the idea. You know what? Maybe I'll burn a card. Getting to that point, right? Yeah. Okay. Lights infused. And heal us? I don't know. I can't decide. The pro I just realized the problem is the attack I want to use is the bottom is the bottom I want to use. Yeah, okay. We'll do that on the zealot. That's a bottom. We'll do that. Okay, I don't... My previous character didn't have any of the attacks, so can I ask you, is is the black hex where I'm standing? Yes. Or it's where I'm attacking? It's where I'm standing? Okay. But you're going to hit two of those right now. Yeah, well if he was gone then I'd... Hit both the of those. Direction. Yes. Yeah. I'm not killing that zealot. Unlikely. It's possible. Unlikely? But, okay. Well, not by before your turn. Like, I'm not, I'm not going very fast, unfortunately. Uh, All right. This needs to be shuffled. So, maybe not that. I could. Wow, that's a long one. Yeah, I don't know. We need three more damage on number six. Wow, none of those were shuffled. All right, double checking. If you can infuse black, I could do something. I don't else. have that card anymore. All right. It's gone. I'm, I sold I'm it. Manipulating the enemies it again. It's gone. I'm going to. I could heal. I could. I'm gonna heal you a little bit. Heal. Oh, assuming you don't run away somewhere. The zealots or the living corpse at some point should be have a plus one plus like a plus zero plus zero. Out of the two cards that are left, because I think everyone has. Oh, but then I'm gonna go slow. Oh, that's not good. Just again, shut the door. It's all I need know. To I agree. Why can't we shut, shut the door? Shut the darn door. Can you wound? Once we can hit this guy, can you wound him, or is he immune? Is to he that a too? able to be wounded? Yes, I can't wound him with my current cards. I can't wound him now, right? Because you cannot. Yeah, you can, him. but he won't take damage. I don't. There's no reason to say you wouldn't. He, you could wound him. I don't see why you would. We can't. Can't be damaged in any way. So can't it doesn't say it can't be wounded. Anymore. So you could set it up now for when he's. Mm. I planned on using that big thing that stuns, wounds, curses, and all everything to him, but I gotta mm -hmm. rest before I can get that back. So I'm not even worrying about it until the zealots are gone. Alright, where's this one? I guess. Let's bring it. Alright, 49. I'm at 12. Boss is at 54, after me. Zealot is the important one, is at 46. Just before Just me, before, yeah. hitting both of us and muddling. Ow. Okay. Ouch. And you have living corpses. Living corpse is fast for a living corpse. Yeah. But after everybody. Okay, I think that's right. Okay. Time for the twirly stabs. I did. I almost knocked it right off the table. I was really trying my best there. Can you see that? No. No. Hmm. There you go. Alright, so it's an attack two, and it'll target all adjacent enemies, and I will start with this elite guy. But I'm going to use the sunshine to make it an attack three. I hit him for three. So he's at seven? Not quite. I know. I'm sad. It's 
not so bad. On to the living corpse. With minus one, which means I do two damage to him. You've got all those over there. I don't know what any of those are at. Number three. That's the first time he's been hit. Oh, jeez. He's brand new. Yeah, okay. And I can't actually hit this guy, but we ruled Does that we I have not to have the living corpses go last over round? A card. He was summoned last round, and yeah, these the guys one. had move minus one, okay. so they just slathered right. or whatever. What was your third? Oh, and the boss? I, I flipped through the boss, which I flipped up my I'm going to have to shuffle, but it doesn't matter. I would have missed him. Um, now I have to decide, do I wound the boss? Well, if you wound the elite, he'll die at the start of his turn. Or do I just kill the elite? I think you'd kill the elite. Although I was going to have the elite do something, but that's fine. I can have, no, that's fine. Kill the elite? I was going to have the elite attack. And speaking of wounds. No, don't kill the elite. I, well, I the only problem is, is the, the zealots go before me. So I'm thinking you kill the elite before they attack both of us and muddles us. Okay. Because so, I was going to do a cool thing, but... Um, doing this non-move action. Well, which, you do both. Well, uh, there's no light, okay. so I'm not doing the top part. I'm doing an attack one wound okay. on the elite, so it's an it's attack dead two anyway. It's dead. All right, that is finally all the zealots. So this is gone. Zealots are done. There are no zealots and left. That means that this guy has now got a ooey chewy gooey center. Oh, that's true. That's even better, actually. Right. Okay, this is the boss. We're gonna move the boss's cards. Over here now, so you can actually see them somewhat. I still can't see the bottom ones, so this is what the boss is doing. No, that's not. I just got rid of the boss's card. What did no, I do with I, it? I kept shuffle, but not totally at the end. Shoot, what was the boss doing? Where did I just put the card? I shouldn't have cleaned these up. There it is. It is that. Okay. It's hitting both of us. Moving, attacking, yeah. He's not summoning the No. So the zealots are dead. You can remove this. Yay. Then it's me. So what I am going to use, this is an interesting one because I've never used this before. Is I am going to use, well, that's not my cards. There they are. No, that's not my cards either. Where are, oh no, it's the bottom. I missed that it was a bottom. These are my cards. All right. <laughs> so I am using turn out the lights, which I've never used the bottom of this card. What's the bottom so do? What it lets me do. Is force one enemy within range three to perform an attack three at range three, targeting the enemy of my choice, and it's going to take as much damage as it deals. Hmm. So I'll have the boss, I think. No, the boss is only a two damage. So I'm going to have the living corpse attack the Which boss at three. three. So it does three damage to the boss and three damage to itself. Nice. So that's living corpse number three, taking Which three damage. doesn't kill it? I was hoping. No, no, that's the one that I only just hit. Well, the boss took three. And you, you that got infused the ice. Okay. I get an XP, and this card's burned. But I was gonna do that with the the zealot, mm -hmm. which I thought would have been better. And then I heal two range two, so that's gonna be both of us for two. But I don't have anything. I'm it actually gets the hurt. Wound off me. But it gets the wound off you and heals you too. Heal two. I like that. Thank you. And then I'm gonna short rest. I think because I have two cards left. Oh, actually, these are both fine. I'm good. Famous last words. I'm gonna use these up. You know what? I'm going to short rest because that way if I had just happened to have to discard a bunch of cards, I'm not discarding from my discard pile. What do we think of Gloomhaven on Steam? Uh, Dark Elf LX, who's in the chat room, could answer that better. I only played it like once. Me and him played. No, I didn't even play. I watched him live stream a play and helped him play. I haven't actually tried it myself. It cost too much money. It's, it sounded interesting. It seems like it needs to be finished. The, the fact I can't play the campaign means I don't really want to play it all that much. I'm really not sure where to go from here. Pound on the main bad guy. Yeah, I know. And do I pound on the main bad guy and run to an adjacent corner? Do I pound on the main bad guy and stand still? No, that's up to you. <sighs> Number three is at... I could send you over towards the treasure chest somewhere. I planned on kind of moving this way, so that when these guys slowly come in, they have further to go. He'll probably resurrect that guy at some point. 
Yeah, I'm sure he will. Can he be poisoned? No, he can't be poisoned. I am going to use that ice, which actually should be here. If I could... If I could get... Oh, we didn't have the boss go. Wow. Oh, yeah, Jeez. no. That's happened. We're terrible. Yeah, we are bad. Okay, so... All right. His move minus one. So his move is he four. He doesn't need to move. Yes, he does. Oh, it's a range attack. Yeah, so he's going to move up. back here. And he's going to attack both of us. So on you, it's an attack one. So he hits you for one. On me, he hits me for two. I will use my shield and make that one. Thanks, Tech. Thank you. Tech in the chair. Yeah, it's definitely way less messy. Like I said, if we could play the actual campaign, I'd be tempted. You need to shuffle the living corpses. I need to shuffle my deck, too. Have I even drawn a card from my deck this game? If I did, I must have shuffled. Alright. This needs to be shuffled. Here, actually, you shuffle this one. I'll shuffle mine. So we can't poison them. I hate shuffling those old I can have. Are you going to be adjacent to it? He can't be muddled either. Jeez. Um, I think I'm going to poison and muddle the corpse. He moved, so I need yeah, to reevaluate. Yeah, I'm going to move right up next to him. Boop, boop, right up next to him. Okay. You will in, oh, you don't even have to take damage for this. Oh, no, it'd be next to both of them, might be better. Next to both of them? I can do that. I'm just worried about guys coming through the door, but yeah, I can I know. let you whack them both rather hard. Yeah, those, these guys are going to shamble along relatively slow. Well, hopefully. Hopefully. They could also move four. Yes. I, I refuse to believe that. Okay, I'm going to do that. Now, what do I want to do? Which is why you have to shuffle this deck. I don't want um, to charge in the middle. Do you need health? Oh, yes. I Please can't heal you a lot, but I can heal or I can give you a minor heal. Oh, it's set them so slow. I have ah. less than half of my hit points. Ah, it's set, like everyone's gonna go before me if I do that. I don't know if that's a good thing. Right. Here I can oh that if I heal you then I can't give you a big attack. Maybe I should heal you big time. What do you think's more important? Can you uh, give me a big attack if I have to I can throw a card. Alright. I like that better. That's a big attack. We're going to do the big attack. And then you know what? We're going to... This is hard. This is hard. Huh. I still can't go very fast. All my... I, you know what? I burned all my fast cards. Um, if I did this the other way around... Give me one second just to consider this. That would give me shield. And one hit on that guy. This would give me... Think about it. No shield, but I get to infuse the sunshine and hit them both. That guy is at... 5 out of 9. It's not close enough. I'm excited about my prospects of killing him. I don't know. I hate everything. Okay. I'm good. Okay. Going at 43. I'm going at 14. Boss, right away. He's going to resurrect well, that guy. He didn't shuffle this one. What? He couldn't shuffle nope. them? Nope. Jeez. So we have another guy to worry about in the room. And the room corpse. Going at 68, which goes in after you. So Please. the boss attacks you or me. You're okay, before so me. Special two is. You're before me. Yes. Okay, so he moves up, 
Tatsu for three. And then he resurrects everything in the room. There we go. It's not great. Nope. You're now next to three guys, which is not. Well, at least he's not going to go this way. Yep. What are you doing? I don't know. Fridge. Um. I the boss made me work. So, I think I'll set myself up for the next turn and not do it, hopefully. I don't have to move to hit the boss now. Nope. I have sunshine issues for the next turn. That might be good. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is, oh no, that's ranged, and I'd have disadvantage against these suckers. These guys are doing move plus zero, and they're moving, so they're moving one. one. And if I backed up, they could hit me from the toy. That first one would be able to hit me. That's not good. Fine. Alright, so I'm doing move two with a jump and shield. So jump over here. Yeah, that's exactly what that's I'm doing. It's perfect. Gets away from the. Elite. I know, but that's a, that's the move I wasn't going to do. Yeah. And then I'm going to do an attack three on the biggie. Plus two. Nice. I'll get him for five. That person. Nice. He's also immobilized. If he can be immobilized, I don't know because I know he's. Uh, nope. Boss. No. Nope. No immobilizing. Nope. nope. Okay. I have shield till the end of the turn. I'm next. That's it. Okay, I'm gonna do this first. One ally within range three mm -hmm. may perform attack four targeting two. Ooh. It also causes muddle. It's attack four targeting two. All right, let's 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 start with the big guy then. This is Crushing Cold, my level two card, which I never actually used. You ready? It's a big guy. Big guy. It's a four. That's nah, still a four. So this would be six. Plus four would be ten. Okay, and now on this fellow here? He is a half health. On living corpse number three? Living corpse number three for five. I don't know he's how much he needs. Him. Good. Drop a coin. Five and four is nine. I get two XP out of that too. That is excellent. One, two. You go away. And now... See, that feels weird too because now there's two coins. I know. I'm dying twice. Well, um, no, you can't. The coin won't drop with this coin because it's not empty. Right? Is that true? And then I move two, and now you can move two. No, oh, nice. Do so you want to move away from them, or yeah, I'm thinking we keep backing up? Because the living corpse is going to. Sh well, this guy's not going to go this turn. No, yeah, but they're yeah. getting closer, right? Yeah, right. Because oh, actually, wait a minute. Let me double check. Because the whole point. I don't know. I'm asking. I'm giving you the option. Well, I want to be in two right here. That far. So put a coin there. I don't know. What's you were the one that looked up. Know. I thought there was something about coins and not dropping in empty spaces. I think it's in our M for money. Or because it was in a bunch of different spots. Or it's under K for kill. I don't know what it was. It was the gold do not make are still considered empty. That was the new thing. Right. So yeah, I think there's two coins there. I think we've had gold before. Okay. Did you put two there? Yeah, I did. There's okay. two there. Not that I'm terribly. Just yeah, I'm not, I haven't been worrying other. about yeah. money much. All right, who's next? Living corpses. Yep. They move one. This is closer, right? Mm -hmm. Then him. Then him. And this guy was summoned this round, yep. so he's not moving. Not summoned, but yes. 
resurrected. Same idea. They're different. Okay. Some ND would have went. So we can't poison the big boss. Nope. Or can we? I don't Shit, know. we can. You can. Well, I, I can't poison well, anyone. Well, no. Know what I'm going to do. Well, well, do you want to take two damage? <laughs> no. Because no, I can I give you an attack I free. I absolutely no? do not want to take two damage. All right. If we time to, I'm going to heal myself on my turn. Oh, I can heal you too. So. But right now, if I took two damage, I'd be dead. I could heal you like a ton. If you heal me first, then you can do two damage to me. But I and can't on my do turn, both. On my turn, I'm going to heal myself. Well, I could heal. No, the, and they're separate do a ranged cards. ranged attack on this guy. They're separate cards. So you're not moving into hand hand either. I'm not moving. All right. Huh. I don't know what I should do. You're not moving into hand to hand. No. I have so few cards left. This feels I'm, wrong. I'm allergic to death. We gotta win this quick, actually. Uh, yeah. We gotta keep an eye on his health, though. I wanna make sure we collect that. No, I don't even care. I care. Huh. Yuck. <sighs> okay, let's do this. And then, I don't know. Oh, this is... Shuffle. Range three. Yeah, we'll do this. Okay. I'm gonna do this nice and quick. Alright, I am at 23. 13. You really are doing it nice and I told quick. Told you. Boss is at 14 just Which after means you. He's gonna move in. Which is kind of bad. And the living corpse is at 68. Okay. I heal first. you for six. Nice. I'll take it. And there's the book. What you else do you play card. That is what we did. Taunted Fate. Heal six. Range two. Then I use Freeze the Soul and I stun the Elite. This guy. That guy. Excellent. No, he wasn't going to reach anyway. Nice. Wait, maybe I won't. Because if I do it, I curse myself. No, then don't curse I think yourself. I'm just going to use this don't move too. Don't curse yourself for the guy that's... No, because he's not going to reach. He's only going to move one. So I'm just going to move two. Okay. So no, I won't. I was worried he was going to come in and smack yeah. us. Fair. Now the boss moves in. So it's going to move next to you. What's special to? Nothing. It just oh, attacks okay. you for three. I just healed you six, so... Yep, I'm good. If I'd known you were going to be adjacent to him, I would have done that differently. Okay, but. so, I'm up next. The warmth of the sun will heal me and a few sunshine. Okay. I heal four. I feel much better. Okay. No. See, next round I'll poison him and you can get your attack on him. Um, but I am doing a ranged attack and he ended up coming into hand-to-hand, -hand, so. Yeah, if there is you that. can't move away, you could attack, but. Is that no. the thing, but I don't think you want I to. I wanted to heal myself. I would yeah. have had to get, not do that to be able to move. So no, I'm saying you could attack the big guy. Oh. I think we need to kill yeah. him. Ignore the So it's an attack corpses. three. And I do three. And then I would pull him towards me, but that's not happening. And then fire is infused. Okay. Then the corpses move on. Starting with this one. So this one was one. This then one that one was one. one. Then this one was one. Then that one was one. All good? Yeah. Okay, I have to do the short rest. You need to shuffle the living corpses on. Do it. Do it. Do it. I just hate shuffling when it's so few cards. And I'm terrified we're going to get the one where they rush us. Yep. I just don't want to be responsible for that. Okay. Let's see. Hey. Do I am not want to get rid of that to the point that I want to spend for it? <sighs> Fridge. Alright, what am I doing? Smack things. 
big spark. I have everything that I ever wanted is infused. I could do this, but if you bring in a card, I still think it might be worth it though. You need to do nine more damage to him. Well, this would be an attack four. It's a there good you start. Go. That is a good start. That's I'm going to give you an attack three. So. And I could also do this one. But I'm not super fast. I'm just, yeah, that's what I'm worried about. All right. I am at 68. I'm at 23. Boss is at 79. Corpse is at 32. Speedy corpses. Speedy corpses, but I am faster than them. Actually, I'm a little sad because... Just don't get next to them. Oh, they're not moving. Yeah, just don't get next to them. Oh, I was kind of hoping if they were going to move, they'd go before me, but they ain't moving anyways. Okay. I have two choices here. I can give myself a plus one attack. Oh no, actually, it's better than I thought. It's good, I'm going to do all things. Okay, so... With the warmth of the sun, we're going to do our big burn attack here. You know, if you move, oh, it's an obstacle. Uh, and I'm not moving. I'm staying where I am. You can't hit anything else. No. It only goes up three. I know, but at least I'm hitting him. It's yeah, an, right. I'm going to use up the sunshine. It'll be an attack four, and it will muddle him if he's muddleable. I don't know which one muddle is. Muddle's it's the, the question, question mark. mark? No, it's no. not muddle. Okay. So it's an attack four, five. And I learn, I learn double because I use the sunshine. You and got then, a pen over there? It's almost over. We should be able to finish over. it this round. Well, that's excellent. Well, here it comes. Can then, you get to the treasure chest? I could move two, unless you're going to scoot me. No. I was actually going to stand here and smack on him and wound him. Okay. So I'm going to do this attack two, which will use up the fire and will wound him. Oh, I have to actually remember to burn that card. So in attack two, I hit him for three, and he's wounded. Does that mean he dies on his turn? Yep. Which means we're not going to get the treasure chest. Which means we're not going to get I the treasure chest. I tried to chest. warn you. Well. That's terrible. Oh, well. You did it. Yep. I could have moved two. It wouldn't have got me over to the treasure chest. Mm -hmm. Oops. And I'm perilously close to out of cards, so stretching it out is not ideal. Alright. I'm done. The living corpses will go, but none of them are moving. Yes. So then it's you. Yeah, I don't have a move two. I don't only have a move two. I have a loot one, I can't reach anyone from that. You can't move two and loot. No. no They're bad. both on the bottoms. Oh, well, nice. I have you attack the bad guy for right. attack three, because I get an XP out of it. I hit him for two and he dies. Yep. Boom. No, look up what the treasure is. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> then, no, we can't. We gotta, we're going to have to replay this just so we can collect the treasure. Which can is ridiculous. Can do that? Yes. Oh. All right, whatever. Actually, I don't know. Can you, in, in this one, I don't know I if don't you can play, know. replay a scenario with a check mark. That's going to be terrible. Scenarios were removed and stuff. At the what end number of the is it? One. Uh, I don't know. Move the Special chest. Tile number one. Oh, number one. Alright. Next is the boss. Oh, he's dead. He died when I hit him. Yep. Oh, now then I could loot. No, the loot's on the bottom of that card. Damn. I'm like, I could have at least got a gold out of that. But I used this. I should have used this one. I should have poisoned him and had you ranged attack him. But I wouldn't have gotten an XP. Yeah. So there we go. Done scenario. He still wasn't adjacent to you unless you had a loot too. So he would have died here and you still couldn't get it. No, yeah. Point. I still couldn't get it. Yeah. Oh well. Hey, we did it. That wasn't, that that was wasn't interesting. too bad. It was very unique. Conclusion. I yeah. can't see. Okay, the conclusion. I don't understand how to read that. So... The horror's tendrils whip in a mad frenzy, as if trying to grasp at the life that is quickly leaving its grotesque form. As it bleeps out onto the stone floor, its movements grow more languid, until with one final agonized screech its terrible mass becomes still, 
Around it, the undead abominations it created also collapse to the ground. And with that, the thing is done. As far as you can tell, you've destroyed the awful creatures of blood that plagued the city, and in doing so, thwarted the vile group behind the disappearances mm -hmm. of the blacksmith and so many others. You can finally stop dodging the widow's messages and update the city guard on everything you know. Roland seems to still be alive, but surely the guards can take it from here and mopping up this stupid cult, and you can go back to actually getting paid to kill things. In fact, as you walk towards a sleeping lion, vaguely dreaming about a hot bath, you recall a recent rumor going around about someone along the Hook Coast offering gold to mercenaries who would come fight in his gauntlet. That might be worth looking into. Rewards. 20 experience each. Wow. Ooh, add items 15 through 20 to the shop. Oh, we've, we've got New location, renowned. the gauntlet, number 10. We, we've, we've done the renown. 20, how much XP? 20. It's a lot. Yeah, it is a lot. Here's a pencil for you. 20 plus what? Uh, Eight? Plus oh, do you normally you get on top of the reward? I assume so. You get the... Normal the completion normal bonus. based on the level, and then the seven here. Yeah, actually, that's so we are on level two, so that's eight more. Okay. So twenty-eight. Plus, I didn't earn much this I'm time. Sorry, I get twenty plus nine. Five. Plus nine. Holy cow! I hit my level. Yeah, I, so did I. I'm at one fifty-one, so I hit level four. That felt fast. Yes. Yeah, I also level up. Okay. I was not expecting a level today. No, they're really pushing you through. Yeah. Um, no gold. I didn't pick up any gold. I got one, which... Which is worth three. This scenario is worth three. Okay. This level. And I don't know. I guess I just won't take this perk, because I don't know who killed that elite. Yeah. If you really want, you can go back and watch the video and figure out later in the week. See? I didn't get mine. And this is why I knew that he had done four damage, because I needed to throw away a card when someone was doing five or more damage, oh, okay. and they never did. They never did See, five I, or more. I have never killed an elite or a boss. Well, it was my card that killed the boss, but you did it. Ah, uh, yeah. But I don't know on this. I don't know who killed this one. Yeah. Lose a card to negate suffering five or more damage, but they never did five yeah, or know. more damage to me. So, I so I'm not going to take it, because I'm not sure. Wow, level up. I did not expect level up. And new cards in the shop. That's exciting. Yeah, that part's cool. All right, we're going to put this over here. We're going to do all that, so do, do, do. feel free to stick with us as we level up. Or do we want to move the camera so they can see us to level up? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, it might be What's more exciting better? than staring at our, our little standees here. That's up to you. I don't know. we got to level up, which takes time. So we got to add items, which takes time. Yep. I don't know. Do we move the camera or not? We could do we our closing. We gotta put a sticker. Yeah. We should put and, the sticker. And do a sticker. I feel so like we could sticker? do our closing thoughts now and then do all the level up stuff. I almost feel like that doesn't need to be in the video. It could just be yeah. in the stream. But I don't, I don't know. know. We need the sticker for you where are we sticker. going. I don't have the stickers. There you go. What number? Like you have all that. Um, bu bu bum, the gauntlet. Ten. Too much work. Now we have. Oh, well, that's right. The Hold. gauntlet. Open this when you get to level five. You're level four, not five. I know. I'm like, hey. So we're doing a city event first? City event first. All right. So now we do a city event. That's my vote. Oh, I had it right away the first time. A Volrath woman wearing a red cloak and flanked by two Knox bodyguards enters the sleeping lion. Hence turn as she approaches your table. She settles in across from your party. The two bodyguards stand a few feet away, eyeing the rest of the patrons. You may call me Jexira. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Her hand, heavily adorned in gold rings, hardly traces the grain of the wooden table. I have an important caravan coming into town. Once it arrives, I seek your assistance in bringing the contents to my warehouse. I require the services of the best. That's you, isn't it? A smile plays across her lips. Something about the whole exchange rubs you the wrong way. What could you provide that these hulking inox could not? Well, seeing as we know who that is, because we played Gloomhaven. I remember that name, yes. So refuse her because something is off, because we know she's nasty. Or? Or agree to help. She's a pretty bullcrap lady. I kind of want to help her. 
I, I don't. I, I have a, a, a sneaky you suspicion. Have a sneaking suspicion that she's this not is a the spoiler. Person. We. This is your reward for yeah, okay. having played yeah, Gloomhaven right. before. She's not a nice lady. We know she's we not know. a nice lady. Oh, it should have been worth it. We should have done it. She doesn't take kindly to being refused. It seems your response isn't something she encounters often. Stands from the table in a huff. You think you're the only mercenaries in this town? I'll find some other idiots to do my bidding. No effect. Oh well, it should have been worth it. We should have done it. Now we know. Listen to the ball. But there should have been a reward there for people who are like, "Oh, I played Gloomhaven. I, I, get your I know whose character that, that is." Like, it even said you have a bad feeling, right? And you know that name. I'm like, you I know that name. That if name. you play Gloomhaven, you recognize it's not that. A nice name. Person. That was sad. That they should have gave you something for being yeah. like, "Hey, here's your reward for having played Gloomhaven before." All right, oh, well. that's done. We are going to level up, but we are going to do some final thoughts. Yep. So I'm going to ding this in. All right, so that was the end of Scenario 9, Explosive Evolution of Gloomhaven, Jaws of the Lion. Um, we managed to succeed, but did not get the treasure, unfortunately. We we were terrible at that. We, we failed at getting the treasure. But other than that, that was an interesting enough scenario. There's, this has been, though, the biggest one for rule question we have ever had. So I'm a little disappointed because we have, like, this awesome walkthrough that tells you exactly how to play the game, but throws in a scenario that's ambiguous. And I went online and looked. I can't find any official things. In this scenario, the bad guys, when they die, leave standees that make it so the space is, I forget what it said Neither now. empty nor full. Yeah, neither, neither occupied nor empty. Well, those weren't the specific words, I think, was well, the problem. It says it there somewhere. So what what was it? They are Oh, where is it? I can't find it now. A hex containing a stand is considered neither empty nor occupied. Oh, yes. neither so it's empty not nor empty occupied. or occupied. So can people move on to that square? It's an empty square. It's not occupied. Wait, it's, it's not, not empty, empty. But it's not occupied. It's not occupied. If it's not empty, I can't move on to it. Right there. No, it's the other way. Because it says you Neither can end your turn on any not. unoccupied space. Right. Yeah. And then right, with the coin generation, it says coins. the coin literally, the standee goes away and it replaces the standee. Well, in this case, that part's staying. But in a different spot where it talks about money, it says whenever a bad guy dies, it drops money. Right. So does it still drop money? We think so. Maybe. See, we didn't know. collect much money. I would have felt guilty. I personally think we shouldn't have collected any money until the stand goes away. When you kill the and actual thing. Coin. It's not like yeah. it's going to make a huge difference, but... It but again, was, it was unclear. Oh, what's with the ambiguity? But the ambiguity. this was such a neat, like it was just very unique. I mean, the, having yeah. the starting right next to the boss, mm -hmm. I thought, oh, we're going to fight him first and then make our way through here. But no, because no. he's immune until yeah. the very you end. You couldn't I mean, kill him was, until you killed unique. everything. And all the bad guys came in. Did we kill any of these? I think we killed uh, one. Yeah, I think we killed one. Was yeah, there. I think we killed one. But yeah, it was a neat scenario. It was definitely not the easiest we've seen. Each of these has been pretty unique. Yeah, they've right? done a good job. It's not just run and kill everything. So at this point, it sounds through. like the campaign's done. We've done all the yeah, things. Uh, we're done. We we've finished the, the Jaws first. Of the Lion. Yeah, we finished we've the rescued Bloomhaven. We finished the first story arc, I guess, at this point. Yeah. Um, so interestingly, too, that I thought was cool is they basically just had us level up Bloomhaven's reputation because they're giving us all the rewards we would get if we had leveled up Bloomhaven's reputation in the full game. With adding new items to the deck and everything. Yeah, that's true. They just so, did so they're it doing. They did it as a set. When you finish the scenario, mm -hmm. you suddenly unlock more items. So it's interesting that they threw that in. What it doesn't have is that our characters, if we resurrect them, come back at a set level. But that makes sense because there's no retirement. Yeah, there's no retirement. So. So that was interesting. I got to say, I think leveled up again. We kicked butt on this one. Yeah, um, I think we did good. Like I made guys just walk into traps and die <laughs> that was, everywhere. That was well done. Which they give you an item to do that with, right in the first scenario. Like that was a big part of it. Was the fact I had the the thing that do it. I also have abilities that made people walk yeah. around. So yeah, making people walk into traps was fun, which made the beginning I of this easy. I was nervous when you said other people online have have been saying, you know, how the heck do you beat this one? I'm stuck on it. It's oh, I can see why. In the box, I can kind of see why. And when you laid it out and explained it, I panicked, especially because I thought they were just going to keep cycling no, and no. resurrecting. I thought we're going to kill this guy. He's going to come back again. I thought, oh, only wow. zealots resurrect, not so, the correct. Yes. Which I makes me wonder that. if some of the people online are messing it up. Yeah, because when you read it through the first time, that's what my brain first did as was unending waves of no. resurrection. And these guys are so slow. Like, that's the secret. If you haven't fought these, they like, don't know that deck. So we have played many games of Gloomhaven, 30 plus games of Gloomhaven, and we know living corpses move 
either zero, one, or two. Yeah. And when they move two, they take damage. So you kind of want them to move two every now and then. Knowing that, we just really ignored them, which is, I think, the yeah, they proper didn't have any strategy. Charge. The biggest thing that they had is the plus one. Plus one. Yeah, yep. plus one. Which damages them, right? Or no, they got rid of that? No. And the original, anytime they move two, they damage themselves. There was one card in here that if they move, they suffered damage. Rotting Embrace. Well, there's this one too, is if they attack and do it, they suffer damage. If this movement, move plus two, if this movement is performed, yeah, plus two, so that's three. Course, Corpse suffers one damage. That's the one. They move three then. Right. And you said four. You're like, oh, there's I said one four. in there that makes them move four. Oh, and three. I was like, oh, okay. Shit. But yeah. and But they get damaged. Yeah. So in our chat room, thank you for joining us. People in the chat, text me. You like the card that makes me have them attack each other. But yeah, I, did, I drew terrible attack cards. It was such a cool card. It's such a, and I was able to hit everyone. Every monster on the, the board, panic, except no, you killed this I guy. Killed but I thought I was getting every monster on the board to attack every other mm -hmm. monster. That was a cool idea. But yeah. I don't know, the overall damage I did by that, I still think it was like six, so it wasn't a terrible card. So that was it, that was this scenario. Um, you are welcome to stay around. I, as I said at the top of the uh, the show here, I was going to say top of the hour, but that was a long one. That was two and a half hours almost. Yeah. But there was some setup and intro there, but that was a long scenario. Um, you can find my content at tabletopbellhop.com. You can support us on Patreon, patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop. You can find us all over the internet as Tabletop Bellhop, one word, Twitter, Facebook, all those places. Um, you can join us live Friday nights, 8.30 p.m. Eastern, to watch us stream Gloomhaven, though I am thinking we might want to switch to 9. Maybe we'd have to get down we here on time. We keep struggling to do 8.30. Yeah. I really think 9 would be better. We had 8.30 because we well, Tori had people and had coming, coming in, and with them not coming in, my, my 9 might be better. Yeah, we, we may end up switching to 9. So uh, check our stream schedule. We try to stream Gloom even on Friday nights. Now, one thing that probably won't be changing anytime soon is Wednesday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern, New York, Toronto time. We record an episode of the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast. That's myself and my co-host, Sean. Hey, Sean, who's in the chat. Um, and we answer your gaming and game night questions. If you have a question for us, then send that to questions at tabletopbellhop.com. So some of the recent questions. What are some recent questions we've had? Well, we just did the AMA, so it was a mixed bag. You guys were talking about transitioning from uh, competitive to core games. I thought that was an interesting yeah. one. Um, I don't know. I'm drawing a blank. Okay. <laughs> we also talked about um, things game designers can do to make their games more approachable. We've talked about the best two-player games for date night. All kinds of questions like that. Basically, try to think of us as a Dear Abby for gamers. I think that's about it for self-promotion. Make sure you uh, subscribe, ding that bell if you're on YouTube, hit follow if you're on Twitch. Subscribe if you're on Twitch if you really want to help us. That'd be even better. Um, hit like, heart, all those fun things. So what we are going to do, for those of you here live, we're going to be here, and I think on YouTube we might as well let it keep rolling, but good night for most of you. We are going to finish leveling up our characters, so the next time we play, we're just good to go. Yep. So we are both leveling up to level five, four. I crossed it off already. So I need a perk and I need cards. Thanks for the help, Tech. You were our guy in the chair this week. Yep. We had a guy in the chair and he vanished. He vanished. We weren't excited. Vanished. Enough. We were born in this week or something. Maybe. All right. Leveling up is exciting. Enough. So I have already chose my perk for leveling up. I'm removing four plus zero cards. Ooh. And now I have to choose between these two new level four cards, ah. and they are crazy. No, it doesn't come up enough. I have forced one enemy within range three to attack three on all enemies adjacent to it, and it takes one damage for every eight, eight enemy it hits. That sounds too situational for a burn. But I also have, on the bottom, heal range three, strengthen, poison, and bless on the bottom. Do we need, feel like we need more healing? I don't know. I've got healing too. Like I have healing as well. So okay. I'm, so I'm what I think I'm gonna take is an attack four range three that curses and infuses dark. Dark. And this is what I was about to ask because mine is. Uh, oh, I wanted to show it to the camera. And it's not over here. Yeah. Well, so I said yeah, we yeah, do it yeah. Well, we'll show them next week which cards we chose. So mine is on the bottom. It's a move two disarm targeting one adjacent enemy and then cancel yeah. ice, infuse fire. Oh, cancel that's against dark, me. Infuse light. Yeah. yeah but if if, if I don't need it, yeah. If you don't need it, it gives me another yeah. opportunity to get infused. Do you ever make cold? Yes, all you the do. time. That's why right. I said those so are the exact opposite. I'm like, that's them. that's fantastic. I do actually. light and cold. I do cold and dark. If you don't need it, I can all right. use it. I am I'm gonna take the and last then, journey. My attack four, it's a curse. Range three, infuses dark, plus it's slow, it's quick, it's a thirty eight. Yeah. 
So yeah, that's what we're taking. And then the top part on this one is an attack one. Target all enemies within two hexes. Wow. If you spend fire, you also wound. Sounds good. Yeah, no, I think it's cool. And it's called Burn Away the Dark, which just for coolness. Alright, we're here. good there. Alright. Then, uh, what items are we adding? But the other one would have been healing card. Move two and heal. Yes, what items so, are we adding? What items are we adding? It's number 15 through 20. 15? See, we should have let the camera over here. Should have showed off the items. You can go over there. I'm not going over there. Wow, that's a big stack, actually. <laughs> so we can now buy the Necklace of Life. During your turn, heal self one. Um, during your attack, spend any infusion to give plus one to your entire attack action. You have comfortable shoes. When you use the bottom, it's a move three instead of a move two. I like that one. Oh, I had, I had some Yeah, mm -hmm. Battle Axe, which is an attack that'll hit at range. The Black Candle, during your ranged attack, add Curse. That's cool, because it'll come back after a rest. How much are the comfy shoes? They are expensive, 30. Yeah, yeah. I have no money, so. Then we have Stun Powder. That's huge. Two, there's two Stun Powders. The cheapest thing in there is 20. Right? Yeah, which is yeah. The, these things. So yeah, some good stuff, but I don't have any money. So. I, I, I'm hoping this part where they say they're offering gold to come fight in the yeah. gauntlet is for real, and they're going to give us boatloads of gold. Yeah, I highly doubt it. Boatloads. We were terrible at picking up gold. All right, I gotta decide on. Part of it though was because I felt weird about gold. I don't know how else to say it. Like I'm like I don't know if that gold should even be out on the board or not. So yeah. should I go chase it down? All right, what do I want perk wise? I didn't draw enough cards to even remove a minus two. I can infuse more ice. That seems like it might be a good thing. Should I infuse mm. more ice? Yes. We need more healing. Plus one heal. Oh, I don't know. Poison. Healing is good. Infusing is good. Add a plus three. Add more cursing. I don't know. They're all good. I don't think I just want to remove a minus one or something. All right. I think I'm going to replace a plus zero or with a plus one infuse ice. Plus zero with a plus one infuse ice right there. And I need to take out. That's not my deck. Or it is my deck. There it is, way up here. Messy. So Tex, no, you haven't played before. It's not familiar with the, the rules, but I really couldn't help with those. Yeah, well, I, we made some pretty obvious mistakes. Yep. There's just so much to track. It's I so know, easy to and then you're and trying to think something. about what you want to do next, and, and you know. Would I remove a plus zero? Bit. Yeah, replace one plus zero. So that comes out. That's I don't mess up on the but do I ever mess up on the stage? Okay, my phone now just sent me a message. I can finally go online now that we're done. Come on. Silly phone. The wind shifted and it decided. Yeah, I don't know. It decided I'm now in Canada, so I'm not roaming in the States. Alrighty. So at that point, we have leveled up. I got a perk. You got a perk. We're all good. So the next time we play, though, we are both level four. Four. The average of our party is four. Divided by two is still scenario level two. Yep. So we're still playing scenario level two next time that is it i will tell you and i got a check mark to check on the video later to see if i earned a check mark it wouldn't have given me a perk anyway so it's either i have one, one more check mark or not i totally forgot that perk until part way through like if i'd realized i obviously wouldn't have attacked that particular bad guy all right so good night good night folks game on